Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we have a few things we want to talk about. Just a couple, not a lot, just a couple. Been doing some very short videos lately. That's unusual, isn't it? Yes, it most certainly is. But I am so glad you noticed. Um, we're doing some amendments to the SACOM website. And what we're doing, let's see if I can move this down. I can't move it down. I have to wait till it finishes. But the EIN Estate Service is up here now. So there's a link at the top. And the Fourth Amendment and the Securing One's Property. Because we're getting ready to start offering those services to everybody again. We just had to get through the first group. We we're about to send them their last group of papers that they need to take care of. And we've, I mean, just see to me, pay attention. The instructions is 13 pages long. No joke. Because the instructions includes the proof that they will need to prove their point. See, what's been happening all this time, everybody's been going to people and people have been doing paperwork for them. And some people have been winning and some people have been losing. What everybody didn't understand, and someone sent me a link the other day. Uh, it used to be on the federal district court's website. And it used to say that the state courts are the common law courts. Now, that's from the Erie Railroad versus Tompkins. But that's not what the Seventh Amendment originally meant. The Seventh Amendment meant similar to that. The Seventh Amendment meant that the common law was the law of the land. The law of the land was the jurisdiction for where the offense took place or for where the controversy is alleged to have taken place. The law of the land was the law within that jurisdiction, within that territory. That's why you'll see the federal courts talk about the state courts or the common law courts. Okay, because it's the state and the jurisdiction in the state whose laws take precedent. However, make sure we get this understanding. The Supreme Court and a bunch of ignorant judges, along with a bunch of ignorant attorneys, have said that the common law was the junk from England. Oh, Lord. First of all, pay attention. In the United States, the Constitution reserves the right to make law to specifically one group, and that is the people. The people, the majority vote, that becomes the law. Sorry, just the way it is. That was the common law. You don't believe me? Why do you think no matter determined by a jury can be overturned by any court? Go back and look at the Seventh Amendment. It's letting you know the premise and the principle by which the common law it is referencing. Why do you think they took advantage of it during the 1800s and the early 1900s with those so-called Jim Crow hearings and Jim Crow trials? So they know what the common law is, but they are playing stupid because nobody does the research to find out what the common law is. For instance, we keep watching movies telling us what our past was. Ladies and gentlemen, most of those movies are not historically accurate. You guys know that. We, How long were you told that Columbus discovered America? Come on, how long was it? They're still saying it when they know that he didn't discover nothing but the toenail on the bottom of his lip. Okay, that's the only thing that idiot ever discovered. But that's their hero, Columbus and George Washington. Lord have mercy. I was talking to a gentleman who had been doing this type of stuff. Now, it's letting me know that I've successfully published, so while I'm talking to you guys, I'm going to go and upload the site. We've reduced some of the size of some of the features, changed some of the pictures, you know what I'm saying, Vern? Know what I'm saying? And it'll be just a moment. I spoke with a gentleman who's been doing this type of stuff uh, with the courts and with finances for, he says, 60 years. He's 80 years old. Now, I can believe that. Know why? Because I told you guys how early I started with law. And he is saying he started at 20. So how many judges that are sitting on the bench in his 70s going on 80 that have been doing that from the time they were 20? You follow me? So yeah, I, 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 I can believe it. But we talked for three hours yesterday. First day he and I met. I knew of him, heard of him. And we had a little chit-chat. And we... We went over a bunch of things, confirming things with each other and so forth. But he told me this, because I told him about how I teach people how to put a bond together. 
He says, oh, no, no, you got to be very careful with that. I said, no, no, I understand. He says, no, you don't understand. He says, you got to be very careful with that. You cannot teach them. They will not let you. And I told him, I know. That's why I don't give the people everything. I give them just enough so that they can go do their own research. Like several have done already. I was talking to a couple and I, they were constantly, the wife was constantly calling me and asking me and uh, emailing me and calling and emailing and asking and mailing and ah. And I kept trying to tell them, people, no, I cannot help you like that. And I had to ignore a bunch of calls from the person. There was this youngster. They all, that couple right there went and did the work. They went and did the research. And they figured out how to do some things. And once they figured it out, I told them, oh, look at that. Look at there. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to come in and give you some more help. And he gave them some more help. They almost achieved it, but they failed to do a certain amount of research. And I told them ahead of time, even said it on video, that you guys have to do your research. Because I wasn't giving everything, wasn't giving all the details. And now they're making corrections for that. There was a young man I spoke to, and he kept asking me to explain this to him and explain that to him. And I said, I cannot do that. Don't you understand? Do you not understand the type of liability I put myself into if I told you how to do that. And he couldn't get it. But this 80-year-old man who's been doing this stuff for this long, 60 years, said to me, literally warning me, you can't do that. And I told him I already know. I said, but lately I've been putting out information because I had already put out the majority of the information previously, so I'm just putting together the pieces. I said, but I'm giving them just enough so that they can get some correction, so they can get some act right. That's why I'm doing this video. Why are you doing the video? I'm doing the video because many of you, literally, you don't understand. The, the people who are doing videos like this, who are trying to tell you, now remember, you don't hear me say I'm getting information from any other source other than the God I serve. Now, I, 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 not like those other people who claim they're getting messages from God. No, this ain't that type of story. Lord have mercy. I call them simply what they are. Simply understandings. I've said it before. Most people can't get it. It is. It works this way. I didn't understand it <laughs> an hour ago, but man, I understand it now. And it's as if I've always known it. That literally is how it works. Did not understand it an hour ago, but, oh man, I understand it now. And it's like I've always known it. Okay? That happens a whole lot. And, you know, I would love for somebody to challenge me on that. Hoo-wee, I would love that. Because then I could have me some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Give me a second while I uh, log on to my site. Uh, yeah, that's everything's already programmed in, got access and all that stuff. I ain't got to do all of that hiding password and everything because it's already hidden. You know what I'm saying? Just, just know what I'm saying. Know what I'm saying. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so give me one more second. I have to upload these. You put your right foot in. You take your right foot out. You do the hokey pokey. What's a hokey and a pokey? Huh? I've been to the who's cow, but I don't know what a hokey and a pokey is. I, oh! He was once America's favorite little boy, Gumby! I know what a pokey is! Okay, because he had a little pal named Pokey. And if you had a heart, then you'd be a Gumby too. <laughs> Gumby! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I know, brought back some memories for many of you. I'm doing this to let some of you know that there are some principles. Pay attention. There are some principles that have to be followed. I don't have a choice. These principles were already established. Um, let's do a for instance. Now, I think I might be putting these files in the wrong spot. No, because it said that it already had the files. So yeah, it's going it's going here. So whew, if I was putting them in the wrong spot, that'd be horrible. But that I forgot when it collapsed, 
it resized. So they're going in the right spot. Ooh, doggy. I I'd, I'd have to go find them. Be like, where they go? Where they go? There them go. All right, getting back to the conversation, ladies and gentlemen. I am too busy giving you all things to help you. Too busy. And guess what? I haven't even been able to help myself. I can't help myself. Okay? I, I haven't been able to help myself. I've been too busy trying to make sure you guys are taken care of. Make sure you guys have remedy that I haven't done anything for me. And I need to start doing things for me and it ain't working. Man, it ain't working. And I gotta I gotta start working my way back to you, babe. Okay, I gotta start taking care of some things because it's necessary. Okay. We had a a couple of forms on the site that were on the back end that was just loaded up. Like I this one right here. This is um I, I need this duty to respond. Duty to respond was for the arbitration. Now, I do want to let all of you know, anybody who was associated with arbitration, that we're getting ready to, I'll be doing videos starting next week, letting you guys know about how to get an arbitration done, because we're going after tax credits. Forget the going after the, the judgment and the arbitration award. Go after the credits. If they decide they're not going to respond go after the credits okay the irs just notified me oh uh, they notified me by mail on the 19th of december that they received my communication regarding my tax credits because the amount of tax credits i have equates to about four trillion dollars in that set of papers they receive that's not the only ones they're going to receive and I have the arbitration awards to prove it. No, they're not a trillion dollars each. None of them are anywhere near a trillion dollars each. It is the accumulated interest and the amount of days. And there's nothing they can do about it. They, they literally said they had to go do some research. Well, go do your research because I'm following your law. Okay. Gave them an opportunity to respond and they didn't. Plus the Bradley Christopher Stark thing. I am this year coming getting ready to help Bradley. I, I don't care about nobody else in that group. I don't care about no one else in that group, but I will help Bradley. Whether he wants my help or not, he will get it because I will go after that act and Congress's stupidity. Just that simple. All right. As always, uh, we're about to bring this to an end because that was me letting you guys know what we're doing with the sites. Now, there are a couple of our sites that are not up right now. And we're taking care of that over the next couple of days. So bear, simple, bear necessities with us, okay? Bear with us. Let me see. No, that was for the groups. Let me show you the website because we just put it back up. Now, it's not finished yet. This is giving you guys a heads up as to what we're doing. And you're going to notice this later. S A T C O double M. 911.com satcom and as i'm pulling up satcom some of you are going to notice uh some subtle changes to the site uh especially the fonts and everything and i gotta clear this up right here because these pictures are not showing up on my end and they should be so i gotta clear that up and find out why that is okay now that's the first thing However, let me minimize this. This is Epon. 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 And Epon, watch. Epon. Epon is going to be our AI chatbot. We're going to program it with all of the information on the site as best we can so that if you're looking for something, it will give you the answer. Okay, but I got some work to do with it, so it's not fully functional yet. So please understand, you won't be able to use it just yet. However, I did put it on the site to let you know that it's coming. So you will have your own chat bot communicator to communicate with once we program it. We'll be working on that over the next two weeks. 
So when the debut happens, we will let you know. But for right now, if you go to the site, just hit the X. Okay, that's all you have to do for now. But that is something that we're adding to the site. Been wanting to do that. Just had to wait for the technology to get here. Now, people are going to say the technology has always been here. Yes, but if you look up a uh, chatbot for a website and look at how much it costs, that was $40 a month in most cases for the basic junk. I wasn't about to shell out $40 a month when most of the stuff on the site is free. Okay, that made no sense. Ladies and gentlemen, we do pretty well as far as bringing in funds for an organization. However, most of our funds go out in things like mailings. Well, technically, a lot of mailings. And the staff, when they're doing the work. Okay? I don't get paid, people. I honestly do not get paid. I'm not supposed to. Okay? So, the monies that come in go directly to the organization. It doesn't come to me. Matter of fact, most of the year, I've been paying out of my own pocket. Uh, especially... During the first part of the year of this year, when we had no revenue coming in and we weren't offering any new services, Lord have mercy. That was difficult for me because I had to tap into my own pocket. Now, people say, why don't you charge an annual fee, a monthly fee, because it ain't your problem. I have to go into my own pocket. That's not your fault. Okay? I'm not going to put that burden off on the people paying a stupid monthly fee. Why would I do that to you? You're already having a hard enough time making it from month to month, day to day, week to week. You shouldn't have to continue to have that problem. So as I told you, this is the live site. Drop down menu. This is the old information, the old PDF. Well, it's actually the new PDF too. But this is the frequently asked questions on the old site. This is the newsletters. This is the uh, credit program and the prior programs. And then this is the Fourth Amendment Secure One's Property Program. And this is the partnership program, partner, with the acknowledgement of the debt. And this is the EIN service for the estate, estate EIN. And then the contact us and about us. How about, what about, how about us? And then to start your own program. Learn about how to create your own trust, how to create your own security. That's what that information there is for. Okay. So, now we brought you up to speed. There's not much anymore of anything that I can tell you guys other than we're getting ready to kick off next year with the lawsuit thing. Um, the As of the 28th of next week, all of the registered mail items will reach their destination. Why registered mail in this case? Not for you guys to follow suit and come behind me. The registered mail is to prove they received it. You can accomplish the same thing by doing certified mail return receipt. That way you have proof of service by an 18-year-old. Okay? But I'm sending it registered mail because I am getting ready to go before a particular court. And in order for me to go before that court, I have to prove I did this. So that's what the registered mail was, to let them know how serious I am. I also did a FOIA request within my filing why a FOIA request because I don't have time to play with them ladies and gentlemen I um, gave some information on the BitChute website hold on let's go to the other one that's open uh, okay we don't need that we don't need another hero we don't need another way home all we want is what's beyond the Thunderdome. That was my girl, y'all. Now, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Girl. Hey, be quiet while I'm talking. You ain't supposed to be talking while I'm talking. Anyway. Tina Turner. There'll never be another one like her. Okay, just that simple. Never be another one like her. Um, Gladys still here. Patty's still here. Never be another one like any of them. They are unique in their own right. I mean, literally unique in their own right. Aretha Franklin. These singers, I'm. there's been so much talk and distractions in the entertainment arena. It's pathetically ignorant and stupid. 
ladies and gentlemen, you'll see that this is BitChute. There are a couple of videos that were put up on bit 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 shoot today that are not on the regular channel. Let's click on Eon. Eon Eon Eon. Let's click on Eon. Hey, take me to your channel, homie. Alright. No, that's not the one. I think this is the one. Small claims court. How to nope, that's not it either. Huh, they're not in alphabetical order. That's a shame. You would think there would be an alphabetical order. They're not in alphabetical order, ladies and gentlemen. They're not in the order of when they were put up. I think this one was put up today. Two minutes, 17 seconds. Yeah, this one was put up today because two minutes. Okay, so that's on this channel. That's not on YouTube. Not on YouTube. Okay, y'all need to understand that. It's not on YouTube. So that two minute one, and there's another one that's not too long. Not that one. That's 21. Did them right behind each other. Well, I guess you're going to have to go look because I, I can't help y'all. See, the whole world is saying, I can't help y'all. All right? So this is BitChute. And you want to find the channel? The link is in the video before this one. Okay, so I'll put the link in this video as well. But again, we're getting ready to add the chatbot to the website. We're getting ready to go to court to take care of a lot of things for many of you. We're telling you that you're going to have to do a FOIA. Do a FOIA every single day of the week, ladies and gentlemen. Just do a FOIA just to be doing a FOIA. Follow the rules of FOIA. And then when they don't provide the information, take them to small claims court and sue them. Public records requests and... Freedom of Information Act requests are 100% lawful, not legal, but lawful. So they don't provide you what you're asking for. Take them to court. Ladies and gentlemen, hit them across the head. Go to your common law court known as the small claims court. Now remember, pay attention. When you go to small claims court, you only want to stick to the issue, not the issues with the next. <laughs> You want to stick to the issue. Why? Because those other issues you want to bring in later. So you bring in two to three issues at a time only. And don't let them talk about anything else, especially anything that will tap onto those other issues. Say, no, that is not the issue before this court. This lawsuit is specific for these matters only. And it is not to be construed or taken broadly. So don't you dare think that I'm going to sit up here and let you hijack my claim by taking away what my rights are. Because I'm reserving that for a suit of a higher caliber. And then if you lose that one, then you go back in on the other ones. Okay? It is a strategy. It is how small claims is done. It's how I've done small claims and never had a problem. So I'm going to tell you all. Small claims is your best friend when you do it right. Small claims is your best friend when you do it right. So look up the rules for small claims. Matter of fact, as soon as this video is over, just download the rules. Don't look them up tonight. Just download the rules. And then when you have time this weekend or next week or the week after that or the week after that, take a look at them and say, hey, let me see how if, he, if this junk is as simple as he said. What the? You mean that's all I got? Oh, and I can. Ooh. What that he my oh and that's what you're gonna be doing. That I promise you. Okay? All right. Have a good day, everybody. I gotta go. I stayed on here way too long. But at least you guys got to see that the sites are gonna be revamped a little bit. So pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Goodbye.